I'd like to make an amendment to the motion on the first sentence of the board members return all LA32 equipment to storage facility. I would suggest that we find someone and turn them in perhaps to the inventory committee or to myself as treasurer or to the president that since we do not have access to the public storage as of this minute, like in tonight if I went down there, then it doesn't make sense to return the items to the public storage if we don't have access to the facility.
Rachel Steve Bolvin, who was the Arts and Culture Committee chairperson. And it's not inconceivable that a Chi Festival could also be part of a, a gigantic outreach event going into the election cycle. Okay? Is that it could be an environmental fair that talks that has a town hall type setup to discuss environmental issues affecting the community, which are issues that candidates may want to broach in the upcoming election cycle. I would not be too hasty in trying to just turn this over to the elected officials. I would wish that you would bring issues like this to the full board for discussion, agendize, and then see if we can work with Don as incorporating some sort of outreach event leading into our election cycle.
if you look at our bylaws, and I have a copy up here. Um, <coughs>
The reason is, is because there was a $600 credit. So these are both bank statements, but they'll look a little different. One is something that's not in my home if there's any transaction uh, activity that month, and if there's no activity, I need to go online and I need to prepare a statement for us to review, which will show no expenses. Uh, as we're all aware, uh, the, the funding is frozen, so it's practically or nearly impossible for me to spend any funds uh, through the purchase card. Uh, the only thing we do need to resolve, which with the assistance of the set, would be our payments to the public storage. We're outstanding for the month of January, and it's not that we're that far outstanding, we're five days late, but with the payment not made in January, they have closed uh, or uh, limited access to the public storage. Later on the agenda, you will see it, and uh, I'm not going to speak too much in it now, but I would strongly encourage the board members and the stakeholders to weigh in on this. And the idea was to purchase our own storage bin. We would avoid all of this difficulty, all of the conflict, all of the issues of making payments, delinquent payments, and unnecessary late fees, which is something that Mr. Chavez has brought up. So please consider that. It's later on the agenda. Maybe we hear it today. But for this meeting, I'd just like you guys to uh, accept the reconciliation form. The month statement for Jan uh, December, excuse me, the monthly statement for January, which would show no expenses. And I have it here, which would we'd be the exact same documents that uh, were advised to us to fill out by our young representatives. So those would be filled out. Right, so everyone got these digitally already? We'll just fill out the, the uh, I guess, the vote, the action item that we're taking today, and we'll turn these in. Thank you. A question for Mr. Manzano. The item dealing with the phone, was that brought to the budget finance committee for review? It was not. There was, was a receipt that I received, uh, and I was asked to sign the demand warrant. I have a copy of the demand warrant right here. That was oh, yeah. to me, yes. but it was not. Can you address that question, please, Mr. I'm so sorry. Regarding the toner uh, that was purchased uh, in regards to yes. getting permission from Dan ahead of time. So, uh, operational expenses, including office supplies, um, your meeting space, business cards, website. Business. Well, your business cards have been paid. Um, those, again, the department will continue to pay because it's, we understand that you still need to continue to operate. So the department will continue to, 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 to pay those. The question was that why did you go to budget and finance committee? Why did you move? The, the actual purchase. Because, you know, I went directly to Dunn and asked for permission to purchase the owners to help me out the agenda. Right. I, I, I believe at that time, which is now, is what we're asking more comfortable in the 
ensuring that these items are not on your agenda so that you know? Obviously, yes, do it. For sure. But again, I'm letting you know as a department we are we continue to pay operational and election expenses. Our bylaw says anything over $50, right, requires board approval. So I understand that the operational cost was, you know, up big bowl. But when these particular items come up, how is uh, the treasurer supposed to keep track of these things if we're not voting on them by the board? That's a really great question because I did not, and I apologize, it, it wasn't until Mr. Johnson brought it to my attention about the, we even wrote it down because I was like, this could add up. How is he supposed to know what, so again, obviously you're not violating your, your bylaws because your bylaws by say that you can't. That's something that you should all work out in the okay. future. That's a good so that's point. what we should do at, at the... Uh, right, but as, at this point, if it's $50 or less, I guess it's fifty dollars. Or, I mean, we're so not being charged. This, I think we should just do it regardless. Any, and the chair of the committee can um, get reimbursed. Okay. Yes. Uh, when are you going to uh, unfreeze our bylaws talk so we can oh, that's update our bylaws? Oh, that's after election. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I have a motion to go with the draft report. The motion that the LA thirty-two. Or require all operational expenses to be processed through the budget and finance committee and depending in the spirit of openness and transparency and making sure that our treasurer is able to be able to submit the most accurate report that he needs to according to standards set aside by okay. all second your motion. So let's go ahead if there's no opposition to take vote. <laughs> All in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your hand. Can you read the motion, please? The yes. motion is that the LA 32 board requests that all expenditures, okay. including operational expenditures, be processed through the Budget and Finance Committee for review and submission to the board in the spirit of openness and transparency so that the treasurer could provide an accurate reporting of all fiscal transactions. Thank you. All in favor, signify by raising your hand. Did you need to say something yeah. before we take a vote? Really quickly. That's a great motion. But. Elections are fast approaching. So think about the timeline, folks. If you can expedite this, great. If you can't, just think, that's a great motion. So stay with that thought, but just think about elections. We don't have the luxury of time at this point. We really don't. Okay. Uh, as stated, all in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Opposed? One, two, three, George, Tammy, and Abstentions? Okay, Yoli, Tammy. No, I mean Yoli. Yoli, are you in abstentions? Okay, Yoli, Eddie, and Connie. Okay. I have Aguilar, he was in abstention. You're in abstain?
printed on the agenda this evening and to accept the reconciliation forms that are being filled out, which are here, page one and page two, which are the ones that Mr. Harvey asked us to sign. They're online anyway, and they've already been pre-filled out. But with that, I'd like to include the expense of the demand warrant. I believe the price is 153.67. It's, it's printed on the agenda. The motion to approve the January expenditure report, the monthly expenditure report, should affect all operational costs as required by Dunn. The extra operational cost that's on there would be the 153.67, which was a board member's reimbursement. I second the motion. Okay. Second the motion. Discussion. Uh, once again, um, I want to <coughs> commend Mr. McDonald for getting into the flow now, figuring out how to get this paperwork done in an efficient manner. Hopefully, you will be recognized for growing into the position after all the hard knocks we gave you over and stuff. Okay, getting aside. Um, so I would move that we move this. Uh, we move that we call for the vote and 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 move this forward. Thank you. All in favor of approving the reconciliation form, please signify by raising your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all, are you in or out? Okay. Uh, uh, Tammy, in. Okay. Opposed. <coughs> Abstention. Yoli and Tammy, passes. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to move uh, new business up. Do we have people in the audience? Uh, After this item, I think it's a good idea, but we need we have a timeline on this. Well, I, I'm, I'm introducing a motion. Okay. The second, uh, the land use, uh, 11. Yeah, move um, item 11 up. Okay. Which item? Um, well, okay, I, I would suggest because we have your senior president that we need to item, uh, add visitors. Item 11, B, 4, and. How about you, business? Um, Just move it. Sorry, 2 and 4. How about all of them? All of them.
motion to take the take the items 11B, 1 through 5, out of order. Raise your hand if you're in favor of the motion.